Welcome back to the Random Vids channel. In this video, I'll make an alarm out of a dog shock collar and an Arduino. First, I'll write some code. Now, I've never used an Arduino for a project before, so I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I finally got my code working. So the program kept on running over and over again. So I made a variable called count up and then it adds one after the program runs. And I have an if statement. So if count up is less than one, then it runs this and then it adds one. So on the next time it runs, of course it's not going to be less than one because it used to be zero, so now it's going to be one. And then otherwise it'll turn everything off. So now I'll push the restart button on the Arduino and I have a timer so that we can see exactly how long it takes. Restart. Okay, so that works. I'm going to use this motor to rotate this pulley which will have a little arm on it that pushes the shock button and it'll remotely shock the collar. So now I'll start putting everything together. So I was going to use this little motor to drive this nail down and hit the button, but it takes about 250 grams to depress the button, and this can only press about 15 grams, so it's slightly off. So instead of that, I'm going to use this micro servo. So that means I have to rewrite the code. So now I'm not using pin 4 like I did with the motor. I'm using pin 3 because I need pulse width modulation to control the servo. So now I think it's all set and I'll test it out. Okay, I think I got it all set up. So now I'll upload it and it'll run. Okay, what? So I was missing a semicolon up here. Now I'll upload it. Okay, that works. So the idea is this is supposed to be right here, and then this will hit the button. Hey, it worked. So now I just need to make a box for all of this stuff, then a separate box for the bracelet. So I'll cut one of these jumper wires in half and then solder it onto the buzzer so that I can connect it. And now I can plug it in. See if it works. Yep. So now I'll actually start constructing a box for it. Okay, so I have a scrap piece of plywood. I'll use this to put all the stuff on and then I'll put a cover on top of it. And I'll mount the servo right here so that it can press the button. Now I'll attach another LED so that you can tell when the board is powered up. So I'll solder two more leads onto the LED and a resistor in between.
Now I'll attach this power cord with a switch to this 5 volt power supply. Okay, this part's all done. Now I just need to make a cover for it. So for the top, I'll use another piece of plywood and some paneling. Okay, this part's done. Now I just need to hook up the receiver to a wearable bracelet. Okay, finally done with this. So I've got this little box with two copper contacts inside. Those make contact with the shock collar that slips right in there. This is part of the dog collar that came with the shock collar so that you can easily take it out. This is also part of the dog collar. I cut it so that it's more like a bracelet. This, you just slip on your wrist, and both of these rivets are connected to this wire, which goes to the contacts inside. So when this gets triggered, it goes through the wire and zaps you right in the wrist. So now it's all set. Now I'll test it out. Okay, you know what? I forgot to turn on the shock collar. Let's try that again. Definitely felt that. Oof. Yeah, it works. Now I'll do one more test. It works. If you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Missed it. I keep on moving my hand, so I'll try that again. Hey, it worked.